Nice. Okay, I've got a ball. So example, and uh, I'll put in the equations in English units. I've got weight, usually use weight times height for potential energy in a gravitational field. And the kinetic energy is one half weight divided by gravity, gravitational acceleration, times the velocity squared. So I'm going to take a ball, I'm going to bounce it. And let's see, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to talk about it compresses here and it heads off with an initial velocity and it's going to hit a certain height. And I want to know how high it's going to go. So let's see. Let's say the initial velocity is 10 miles per hour. Now let's see. Okay, 6 miles per hour. And 10, plus 10. So V1, it takes off at 10 miles per hour. So it's scooting up here, 10 miles per hour. And it's got a weight of uh, an ounce, maybe a tenth of a pound, uh, 0.08 pounds is the weight. And A. What's the kinetic energy of this thing? Well, first I've got to get the velocity in terms of feet per second. So the velocity one is 10 miles per hour. And uh, let's see, there are 5,280 feet in a mile. And that cancels out the miles, so I'm doing pretty good here. I've got feet per hour. I need to get rid of hours, so hours has to be on top. I want feet per second. I know there are 3,600 seconds in an hour because I'm a geek. And uh, the hours cancel. We've got feet per second. And so that's going to be 14.7 feet per second. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can move back, go back and forth as much as you want, pause, make sure you get everything down. So let's see. The kinetic energy as it leaves the ground is one half weight divided by gravity times velocity squared, called V1, which is one half 0 0.08 pounds over gravity, which is 32, not 32.2, let's say 32 feet per second squared times the velocity, which is 14.7 feet per second, and that is squared. And I'm going to get 0 0.270. Now let's see what happens. I got feet squared over second squared, because this whole thing is squared. So 1 over second squared divided by 1 over second squared, that cancels out. But I got feet squared here and feet here, so I'll, get, I'll have one foot left here. I got foot pounds, which is energy. Does that make sense? Uh, this would be 0 0.08 over 64, so 1 400th, 40th, 1 40th. Yeah, so that makes sense. Right. Yeah. So that's the kinetic energy in foot pounds. Now, how high is that thing going to go? Here's the kinetic energy. I know it's going to, if I had no losses, it'll all get turned into potential energy, and I can figure out how high it is. Hmm. Let's see. B. The height. Let's see. The kinetic energy at the bottom is equal to the potential energy at the top, which is weight times height. So the height, I can get that just dividing both sides by the weight. Right, what you can do here. 
the height is equal to the potential energy at the top over the weight, which is 0 0.270 foot-pounds, over the weight, which is 0 0.08 pounds, which is going to be a little over 3, which is going to be, uh, let's see, Three point three eight feet. Not bad. What if I lost? No. What if I lost twelve percent of the energy due to uh, air drag? So let's try a C. lose twelve percent of energy. What's the new height that'll get to? Oh, well, let's see. The new potential energy at the top is a hundred percent minus twelve percent. of the old potential energy. Right, because I've lost 12%. So I've got 88% left. So that's equal to 0 0.88 times the potential energy, which was 0 0.270 foot pounds. This is a long way to do it, by the way, which is Zero point two three eight foot pounds. And the new height is the new potential energy over the weight, which is point two three eight foot pounds over point oh eight pounds. Pounds cancel out. I get two point nine seven feet. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to see that this is 88%. This height is 88% of this height because uh, the heights are proportional. So if you have 88% of the potential energy, you're going to wind up with 88% of the height. So that is potential energy, kinetic energy, and conservation of energy.